chairs waiting to be occupied by the new European Union commissioners. But who will deal with portfolios that have an economic impact, the most coveted by the 27 member states? Friday is the final day for governments to announce their nominees. Analysts say the budget portfolio is undoubtedly the top prize in negotiations, as Ursula von der Leyen forms her second executive. We have uh, the uh, multi-annual financial framework, which needs to be negotiated in the next term. This will be a very difficult and very heavy dossier, um, but it will also be something which will be very determining um, also the foci, the priorities of the years to come. France is expected to maintain a strong portfolio, with Thierry Breton, currently on internal market, likely to be nominated for a second term as a commissioner. There's always a great interest in also uh, competition and trade. So those are those portfolios where um, the EU has a lot of competence, right? Uh, or where the, where, the, where the budget is particularly high, um, for instance, cohesion and agriculture, you know, which both uh, make up um, about a third of the whole EU budget. In the power plays, von der Leyen can also use defence, a new portfolio dedicated to the military industry, seen as highly relevant due to the war in Ukraine. Relations with the Mediterranean, linked to migration management, and housing are also sectors that will now have dedicated commissioners. Von der Leyen will also have to take into account which political parties support her when she designates her executive vice presidents. So one can assume that again, now, given that she is from the EPP, from the Conservative Party, that you will have a socialist, a liberal, and also potentially a green uh, among the top uh, positions in the commission. Another trump card is to secure the participation of more women. The president is struggling to achieve gender balance, with fewer than 10 women officially appointed so far. She will have to work with these governments in the next five years, right? So it is a bit of a tightrope that she has to walk between putting her foot down and uh, getting, for instance, the gender balance right, but at the same time, you know, keeping, uh, you know, good working relationships with those governments. But before the 26 commissioners take their seats for college meetings in the Jean Monnet room, they'll first have to be approved by the European Parliament, which will arrange lengthy hearings of the candidates.